welcome to our lesson on prime numbers. So we're going to use factors to see which of these are prime numbers. A prime number has exactly two factors. So we begin with the number one and the factors of one are only one and one. And you can see this is one number, so one is not prime. The number two, the factors of two are one and itself. And this is two factors, so two is prime. The number three, again, has only two factors, one and itself. So three is also prime. The number four has one times four and two times two, which is three factors. So four is not prime. Do you want to work out which of the numbers between five and eight are prime? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, the factors of five are only one and five. So five is prime. The factors of six are one and six, two and three. And this has four factors. So six is not prime. The number seven has one and seven. So seven is prime. And the factors of number eight are one, eight, two and four. Again, this has got four factors. So eight is not prime. And then do you want to try and work out which of the numbers from nine to 12 are prime by pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. Okay, for number nine, we have one times nine and three times three, which is three factors. So nine is not prime. For 10, we have one and 10, two and five, which is four factors. So 10 is not prime. For 11, we've got one and 11. So 11 is prime. And for question 12, we have one and 12, two and six, three and four, which is six factors. So 12 is not prime. So here we have the first five prime numbers. Okay, let's try some more questions. So here we have the first 12 prime numbers. Each of these statements can be completed using prime numbers. Do you want to try and work out which prime numbers must go in each gap to make the calculations true? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay, for question A, we have five add seven. For question B, we can have 29 minus three or 31 minus five. For question C, we can have two multiplied by 19. And for question D, we can have two multiplied by three, which is six, multiplied by five, which is 30 in any order. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.